Welcome to Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of stopping by, you like the channel and the video, please subscribe and put on your notification bell so that you will be able to know when I upload a new video. In this channel, I bring to you information across the globe, what is happening in the world, especially Nigeria. So after watching the video, your opinion, your contribution is highly needed. Do it constructively in the comment section. As we are going to watch this video together, yes, I'm watching it together with you. Then later, we'll come to the comment section to discuss about it. Remain blessed as we watch. Anyway, I'm going to I'm going to mobilize the whole Igbo nation to come to your village in Owere and burn down your village. I know his village in Owere. That I will make sure that the whole Igbo nation will be aga aga ndibo against Owere. Imam is not the one who sent them to go and kill the people. Imagine a lot of things happen. I don't want to I don't want to remember those things anymore. So we, he is not with us. He is on his own. I have said it. Nandi Khan does not speak for the Igbo nation. He has his own agenda. So we, I don't want to be. I don't want to concern myself with that. He has his own members. He has his own lawyers. He, they should be able to sort out the problem. All right. I, don't want to I, I thank you very much. Uh, Uche Namado is now here with us. Comrade Namado is now here with us. Um, Masob, uh, uh, Comrade Namado, you've been on our program before. But for the benefit of our listeners, first of all, you're welcome. Can you explain to us the nature of your own organization now, Masob? Can you tell us about your own organization? Yeah, um, <clears throat> once again, and um, I salute you, Elumba. Thank you, and um, I acknowledge the presence of uh, other participants. I can see a lot of them. Some are my friends. I have personal close relationship with them. Some actually, I may not know them. But at the same time, I say welcome. Uh, my name is Comrade Uchenna Mato, the leader of Maso. You know, I don't want to go into details of Masov. Uh, we, we all know that Masov was founded by our former leader, Chief Rafa Wazurike, now the leader of BIM. A lot of things happened. Uh, that's not, this platform is not what I'm here to explain. Uh, uh, I want to talk quickly on the topic we have here, the arrest of Namdekano, what next for the Biafran struggle? I think that's the main issue why we, we gather this evening. Um, I have to tell us something. Nandekano, the leader of IPOB or his own faction of IPOB, as the Kembe Chris may have said, is one of us. There's no way we can deny him. There's no way we can betray him. Whatever he's passing through, he's passing through in the name of Biafra for our people. It doesn't really matter much what he may have done. We all have made, made one or two mistakes. Myself, as a matter of fact, all the leaders of the Biafran groups, one way or the other, we've made a lot of mistakes. Now the card is not an exemption. Not the call, though it's not an saint. No one is a saint here. All of us are talking about Biafra. We have our different ideologies and method methodologies. We do follow. In Masob, we prefer non-violence. Now they cannot have his own methodology. And make a make use of uh, uh, IPOB of course, some other government has own methodology. They have their own method methodology. Likewise, every other pro Biafra group. We have a lot of them about 20 in number. They have their own system of approaching Biafra. Now they can have his own system. I think with his present predicament or condition in the hand of our president, there's no need of condemning Namdekano here. It doesn't, it doesn't mean much. At the end of the day, he will still come out. What he's passing through is the same thing we must pass through for the sake of Biafra. Biafra has a price tag. We must pay it. 
I've, I've been in different prisons of Nigeria myself. I've been in Kuja, I've been in Suleja, I've been in Kefi, I've been in Abakeleke prison, I've been on a prison for the sake of Biafra. Nobody knows about it. The last time I, I, I was in prison, I spent three years, six months, and uh, two weeks. I was in the prison, I lost a lot of time. My father died. So what I'm saying in essence is that Nam Dekano is paying the price for Biafra. The major problem of Biafra actualization or restoration is the leaders of pro Biafra group. The entire leaders of pro Biafra groups have never come together for once in a round table to discuss about themselves. We have our differences because of our different methodology or ideology we are following. All of us, each and every one of us has one or two a mentality that is superior, that his own agenda is more better, more, 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 more acceptable to, 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 to actualize the Afra. And they want others to follow your own agenda. Whereas we have never discussed who, who, whosoever agenda or system or ideology. So these are the major problems. The problem here are not the followers. The problem here are not Biafra, it's not Biafra. The problem here is the leaders of pro Biafra groups. All of them. We are the problem. Why everything is going this way? Whatever Nandi Khan is doing, is doing on behalf of his own group. Whatever Emeki Emeki is doing, doing on behalf of his own group. Whatever Chifra for Wazuke is doing, is doing on behalf of his own group. Doing. Whatever I'm doing, I'm doing on behalf of Massa. Whatever Prince uh, Richard is doing on behalf of the African Nation League. The same thing applicable to EPC and other pro African groups. Even Tony Nadi of Lower Niger Congress, he has his own system. The problem here is the leaders. That is the most important thing we must achieve. Not all this rantling. Nande Kalo, yes, is in the hand of Nigeria. We can never abandon him. The people of Biafra can never abandon him. Currently, I can testify to you that in Nande Kano, in this struggle for Biafra restoration, he's a major player. He's a major stakeholder. We can never rule him out. We can't. So the idea of, uh, 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 in fact, he's not on his own. All of us are with him. 90% of the Biafrans are with him. So it doesn't matter if 2% say they're not uh, with him. So the arrest of Fernand de Cano concerning Biafra actualization, the effect, we have to talk about the effect. It will never affect Biafra restoration. Even if now the cannot spend six years behind the bars, Biafra struggle will continue. There are thousands of now the cannons outside there. So whatever he's passing through is for Biafra. Yes, he, he may have made some mistakes. I'm aware. He, he made some mistakes. Some of his brokers are not actually comfortable with, you know? But at the same time, we can never deny him. We can never back him up this time around. Masob, we continue to identify with him and every other pro Biafran groups. Nobody knows tomorrow who is the next in line. If we continue to defy, if we continue to, 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 to separate ourselves from the main core of Biafra, our enemies will start laughing at us. Actually, I understand there are many ways we can get this. Now the economy has believed in violence in armed struggle. Still upon that, I'm not seeing him executing armed struggle. All the rantling, we'll do this, we'll do that. I'm not even seeing any armed struggle in Biafra land. Some people believe in illegal in, 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 in aspects or involving politics. 
and the struggle. Fine. Sometimes it works. But all of, we, we have to gather and discuss about this. Must what we believe in our own ideology of sustaining our people first, trying to actualize the behavior of the mind. That's the most important thing on master. First of all, we must actualize the after of the mind. We want to let every woman, every German, the entire Islam to believe and know that they are Biafra first. Until when they start thinking like Biafra, talking like Biafra, you know, presenting Biafra first, Biafra interest first. That is when I believe uh, that's our own ideology. So what I'm saying in next sense is that leaders of pro Frank groups, as a matter of fact, must find a way of coming together in the right. relative of one's ego. Thank you. First of all, we have to come together. All right. Um, uh, thank you. Um, uh, Mr. Mekisa, I would like to ask you this question. Uh, Mr. Mado talked about the Biafra of the mind. Some other speakers have also tried to differentiate this Biafra of the mind as an ideology from Biafra as a political, geologic, geographical expression. How does your own um, agitation for Biafra, what type of Biafra do you actually believe in? Is it the Biafra of the mind, Biafra of the ideology, or Biafra as a geographical expression? <laughs> In the first place, when we started this journey, we have at the back of our mind. Uh, so, so, uh, so, sorry, Mr. Mada, I will come back to you. I'm actually directing this question to Mr. Okay, sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, All right. Okay, okay. Uh, Thank you very much, moderator. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I appreciate um, um, the argument of my comrade, Madu, about their philosophy of Biafra of the mind. Because what is in the mind eventually translates and comes out in the open. <clears throat> but if it continues to be in the mind without being made manifest in the open, it does not help us. So our own ideology is that we are Biafra by identity, we are Biafrans living in Nigeria. Along the line, in future, we shall eventually get our territory back as Biafran territory. But for now, we don't have a territory of Biafra now. But we want to be identified as Biafrans. That is an argument which we made in court. And Nigerian lawyers were confused. When we told them that we are Biafrans by indigenous identity, but we are Nigerians by citizenship. And then we made them understand the difference between citizenship and the indigenous identity of a people. That just like in, the, in, the, in Britain, the Scottish people, the people of Scotland, they are Scottish by indigenous identity but they are British citizens. The same way the Irish people, Irish and the Welsh, they, all of them have their indigenous- We're always watching Linda's TV show. I will see you again in my next video. Remain blessed. I appreciate each and every one of you and keep on watching Linda's TV show. If you have not yet subscribed, please, I beg you to do that so that you'll be getting more updates from me. Bye-bye.